So today we're going to be doing a Twilight Princess randomizer. We are starting off today with a couple of items ready. Most notably, we have the Water Tunic. We've got the Massive Sword. Uh, we got the Gale Boomerang, Claw Shot, Spinner, and Iron Boots. Uh, and we're gonna try and find the rest of the remaining items that we need to hopefully be able to complete the seed. Uh, but without further ado, uh, let's see how it goes, shall we? I'm gonna go and look for some bugs. There's supposed to be two bugs up here. Come here! Thank you. 50 rupees! No! Chat, I've gotten enough rupees to where I do not care about a 50 rupee. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's a grotto over here with two posts. Maybe I can explode this rock. Maybe it's that. Oh, this is it. This is it. Looking at the grass, this is it. I knew it. Damn it. Oh, come on. Just... Ah! Oh, my God. I keep getting attacked by other people. There we go. 50 rupees! You know, I remember in the vanilla game of Twilight Princess, you get way too many rupee animations, and that is still true for the randomizer. I am on a hunt to obliterate the different pose and bugs right now. I am still- I still have not done the majority of the dungeons because this is key sanity, so I can't guarantee- I can't usually get far in the dungeons because this game has a lot of small keys. What is this? What is this cave? There's supposed to be three chests in here. Fair. Small key in city in disguise. That's good. That's actually good. Uh, I actually, that's the only key that you need in, uh, to go through city of disguise. Because city of disguise actually only has a single small key. I think some of these chests right here are based upon torches. And I do not think bombs like these. Yeah, no. The torch is really like... I didn't realize how useful the torch is until I started doing this rando. There's gotta be a way to access some of the stuff over there without falling down. Alright, I'm gonna see if maybe I can land up on that rock right there. Oh! Oh my god, I got the recoil, but I recoiled back on the platform and made it. Oh my god, the clutch. Hey, we got a grasshopper. You know, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get back though. I think it's time to jump into the void again. Anyways, uh, there should be a grotto here somewhere. Uh, yeah, here. We got a posal. We got the rod! I don't even remember how this mechanic really works, but I'm pretty sure I can take access- I think I can take control over big boys now. I'm pretty sure I shoot it and then I can control big boys. Because it's mostly used for, like, side quest stuff and one dungeon, and that's it. What was that? Did you guys hear that rupee? Why was it so loud? Also, magic armor? I guess useful, question mark? Not a bad cave. We take those. There was supposed to be a tree heart piece around here somewhere. Found it. We got a day fly! And then there's the under the bridge chest. We got some milk! Milk. Any milkers in the chat? What? <laughs> oh my god, I'm actually going to just flat out, like, jump attack. Please! Thank you. Heart container? We take those too. You have to power this thing? I need to do a quest to restore it? That's a total scam! How do I power this rod up? Do I have to do something in this dungeon? Or... I have to finish the skybook. Hey, at least I have two keys here now. I can actually, like, do stuff here now, Chad. I have no idea what to do, because I don't remember ever- I don't remember playing this, because, like, I played this years ago, this dungeon, and you skip it in every speedrun, but, you know, we can try. Oh, I see a chest. You'd love to see it. We got the shield attack. I'm never gonna use that, but thanks. Hey, we got the compass. <laughs> uh, finally, I won't be lost. Good item, boss champ. No! I'm getting so many rupees, but not many good items. Oh, the room goes upwards. Wee! 
Oh no. I need to think? I already hate this. You got a dungeon map. No meme dungeon map and compass is actually kind of useful for me because I don't know these dungeons by heart. Can I? I don't have a bow. I. That was incredibly disrespectful. This is so disrespectful. Hmm. It's downstairs. Yeah, but I don't want to go and get it. That will take me a long time. Oh. Let's go, dude. That's my freaking streamer, dude. That's my streamer. Woo! How do I get the last chest to spawn? Oh! I see it now. Oh, God Gamer. We got the wooden statue. This oddly shaped statue is said to have once belonged to... Elia. It might be a clue that will help Elia get her memory back. Uh, I guess side quest? Question mark? I don't remember that. I like people who are like, no, it's a main quest, Linkus. Chat. I don't want to be that guy that is like, well, actually, but actually, everything on a rando is side quest. There's no such thing as a main quest. All right. I think that's all I want to get in this dungeon here. I think I'm going to save and quit out. That's everything I can do. Oh, wait, I can go to City in Disguise. All right, let's just go through this fast because I already have done the start of this dungeon before. <gasps> I see a chest. I want the chest. Yo, we got a Posol. My favorite. All right, time for some chickens. Monka W. Hate these boys. They scare me. No. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Any chests down there? Nope. I don't know why anyone would consider these guys to be cute. I'm gonna be honest. I do not see it. No! Where is this chest behind this waterfall thingy I'm supposed to find? What? There's gotta be the waterfall chest. Ooh, a bug. That's, that's actually pretty good. Hmm. Thinking. You know what? Let's go check out Hyrule Castle. I can't beat Hyrule Castle, but there are chests in Hyrule Castle that I can't access. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Goron. Yeah, I forgot about Fire Temple, the Goron place. We always skip that in the speed run. Let's see if I can get the skip right here. There's a way to skip these fights here. Easy clap. Enough. No! Bye! Oh crap, there's a chest up there I missed. Hey, one of the Sky characters! They're still missing characters? How many pieces do I need? I don't have the ball and chain. Oh. I found a solution to my problem. Let's go! Ouch. I. You got the back slice. Okay. Yeah, that's all I can get on the outside right now. All right, let's go inside. Oh, no. Oh, no. Double claw. So close. No, normally you would claw... You would claw this, drop down in midair, and claw that one to climb further. I guess I can trade in my pose. Okay. This feels like a scam. Hi, kitties. Why does the map show that there is a massive bridge across this lake? But I don't know how to have a bridge. Do you build a bridge in this in this game? Oh, I forgot about that. What the hell? Ah! What? Let's go! 
No, we're just a snail. Ah, bah, 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 bah. Come here. Come here. This is a spooky cave. Ah, uh, let's go back up. Whoa! -ha -ha! Get another really fancy one. Oh my god! Let's go! Well, hey, even if we can't continue here, at least we got our bow, which is good. There's a lot of stuff I can do now with the bow and arrow. Thanks for the 10 bombs. Also, what is that kid doing with a pack of bombs? Ba, 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 ba. Dude, what a bad stonk. No, not another snail. Saw dudes. Is there anything poggers here? Ooh, I could progress further in, uh, in this dungeon here. Yeah, we're back to this place because I now got the bow, so I can do some more stuff. I do think, however, I might be missing a couple of small keys, so I hope I don't get too locked out. We got another bug! We got a small key for lake bed! Okay! Oh! No! We bought- we got the big quiver! I don't think I really need that, but I mean, we'll take it. Oh no, this requires a small key. No! I really need that goddamn torch. Not having a lantern is pissing me off, dude. I'm pretty sure I can do Lost Woods now again. I'm pretty sure I can do Skull Kid. Found you! He's pissed. Let's go! Three chests in this room, Chad. We still got this. We still got this. Don't worry. Don't panic. Don't lose hope! No! This was clearly rigged. Someone behind the scenes rigged the seed. This is a big game. It's about 500 checks, and they're slower to check than most other Zeldas. First try. Easy clap. Come on, dude. Everything I'm finding now is just rupees. Well, I can't enter the room on the right, because there's a key on, on it. This is it. This is the lantern, I believe. Hey, at least it's a silver rupee. That's 200 bucks. Here we go. Nom 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 nom. Tasty. Mmm, very tasty. Ah, monster! Monkey! Booty! Let's go! Here we go, time for a lantern. This is gonna be a lantern, trust me, chat. This is going to be a lantern. No! Well, why do I need a lantern? Because A, I needed to beat the game. B, believe it or not, the lantern locks out the most amount of items in this entire game. All right, I have water bombs now, and I have iron boots, so I should be able to go to some poggers areas here now. No! No! I don't think there's anything else I can do in here without the lantern. Oh, is this the lantern cave with, like, a shit ton of chests that I can't get? Hey, we got an actual shield! Nice! In my book, that counts as a poggers item. That ledge looks awfully sus. All right, we're gonna have to go and check that out. I cannot get over how sus that ledge looks like. I knew that ledge looked sus. Dude, nothing can get past me. Palace of Twilight? Maybe I should go over to Palace of Twilight. There's not too many chests there, but at this point I'm starting to run out of places to check. 
Wait, you need double claw shot for that. Oh! No! Oh boy, time for spooky scary skeleton. Spooky scary skeleton. Go shivers down your spine. This is it. This is the lantern. Well, hey, at least we got another cool attack. Another move that I'll never use. Let's go. Oh boy, spooky boy. There's a chest over there I really want. I think I need double claw shot for it. That's unfortunate. Oh no, did I need the ball to get here? Do I have to wait until I have the butter sword now? Can I do this so quickly that it doesn't have time to change me back? Oh, pog. Can I enter this dungeon from behind? Hey, at least I can do one more item check. No, normally for a casual, this boss fight would take a lot longer. Lantern! No! Oh my god, this, this seed is getting so painful at this point. I guess there's a couple of new locations in Hyrule Field that I can get now with all the items I have. How the hell do I get this chest? Does anyone know? Spinner? There's no spinning tracks. Oh! Oh, I see now. I see what I need to do. We got a postal. Oh my god. I never went back to do the bomb minigame here uh, and helping her out with like the stuff. Because it didn't have the bow when I was here the first time. Wee! I like how I have so much money that I literally just don't pick up any of her rupees that she's throwing. Like, I cannot be bothered. <laughs> this is a long track. Wee! Good job out there. Uh, I have no idea what that does. All right, there's a second one set that's called Bomb Minigame. If the boat hits anything, you lose one point. Get at least 25 for a prize. What the hell is happening with the boat? Dude, steering this boat sucks. What the hell was that water current? What is happening? This game is actually broken. This is actually some of the worst controls I have ever felt. I agree, this better be worth it. Oh! 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 Oh no. Oh god, no! Oh my god, I almost hit that! Please, no! Yes! Okay, I only hit the wall- I only hit the wall twice, so out of 30 possible points, I got 28. That's not too bad. Alright, this better have been worth it. YES! Oh my god! Oh my god, finally! It took so long! Ten and a half hours almost to find this goddamn lantern! I only need the ball and chain now. And double claw shot. Forgot. Sorry. All right. Let's go to Hype Cave. Are you guys ready for this? Oh my god. There's so many places I can go now. This game just opened up so big. Hype Cave! Goron Mine Small Key. Yeah, there's another Hype Cave. There are two Hype Caves in this game. Oh yeah, I forgot to say. Not only is there uh, 15 chests in this area... 15. There's also three posts. So we get a grand total of 18 checks in here. Oh god. I'm about to run out of bombs because those bomblings, I didn't have an empty bag. So because of that, they just like literally didn't go into my inventory. Yes! Oh my god! Okay, lantern, and then immediately afterwards, ball and chain. Dude, we take those. The only thing now is, like, double cl like, claw. That's the only thing. Claw, claw, claw. That's it. Can I do this? Oh, perfect timing, too. I was about to run out of bombs. All right, we did it. We went through a hype cave. 
Imagine if it's been in my basement this whole time. This is the area I wanted to be at. Don't steal? I'll consider it. I'll give him a little tip. Link is steal next time? Never. Oh, I guess I'll go slower. Forest Temple? I mean, I guess that's kind of fitting. There's three hidden chests in this mist. And then there's also this cave right here. Well, I can fully clear now the entire dungeon of Forest Temple. That's a second chest. Alright, I just need to find a third chest, wherever that is. Dude, where's this last chest? Oh my god, I see it! We got some love from all of that. Very nice. Oh yeah, that is true. We can now go and actually do the Yeti. There's so many places we can go now, actually. You're right. We got Mortal Draw. Damn, we got like most of the attacks at this point. I'm gonna be honest. I think this game has the least amount of diversion in terms of items. Because at least the Wind Waker runs. It's not a good reward, don't get me wrong. But Wind Waker, it A, has less chests. B... It also splits up so you get like spoils and rupees. This game, you either get good items or rupees because there's not like spoils to like fill it up. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my dog. Yo, we got a heart container. That is like super poggers and awesome at the same time. Oh, yeah, we still haven't done fishing. Chad, let's go do some fishing. Unless you need the fishing rod, in which case I'm screwed. If you fish the heart piece, it will not be random. If you claw shot it, it will be. Hold on, there's a heart piece that I can see in claw shot? Oh, I see it. There's no way my hook shot will reach that, though. You can claw shot in water? Really? Oh, just swim to land to get the reward? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, what just happened? Hey, we got a key to Palace of Twilight. Nice, we almost have the Butter Sword now. Oh, wait, have I ever gone there? I've never gone here? There's an entire area I never went to? Let's Beyblade. Do, 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 whoa. What? I have to do a quest for that? How does that work in the rando, though? I need Elia. Where sh is she? Big house in Kakariko. I can show her the statue. Boss champ. The problem like these are not a problem to Gorons. Nice. Let's go. All right, we did it. Okay, here there's a hidden village skybook. There is a hidden village Ilya charm. And then there's hide and see. Bye. Hi, Impa. Zzz. No! Do I have that charm? I'm assuming I don't. So I can't do hide and seek? Sag. Alright, let's head out of here then. No hide and seek with the cats. No playing with the kitties. Well, we got a pumpkin. I hope I can make some pumpkin spice latte with that. Oh yeah, I guess I can donate some money to this dude over here. Let's go! Vanilla? Not okay. All right. It is time for something very Monka W, Chad. It is time for an ice puzzle. Hmm. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam. No. Oh! I forgot that you can move it after it's in place. No! No! Two switches? Okay, wait, hold on. Bam, 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 bam. No, because then bam, bam. And now I go... I want to make sure I don't do this wrong. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. No, but that's fine, because I can save it. I can save this. I can save it. I can save it. I can save it. <laughs> Easy clap. Oh, God, this is a wide people happy one. Oh, no. Here we go. This is all what is coming down to the prediction. Is 
my brain enough to get a double claw shot. I worked so hard for that. I feel like, can I do more stuff in Lineru Spring? Because like, I'm, I'm starting to run out of locations to do in the overworld, I feel like. Because most things I'm thinking of requires a double claw shot. Ah! All right, I'm gonna go for collecting all the posts that I'm missing in the overworld And if that's not it, we're gonna start going through all the dungeons I just really don't want to go through dungeons because a lot of the dungeons I have to go through I don't know how to go through without glitches and I can't use glitches so What? All right, there's supposed to be a po down here at the bottom sit up here. I never knew this po existed Did you guys know that? Yes! Oh my god! It's over! Oh my god! What an evil location! The sad part is that technically speaking, if I knew about that Poe location, I could have gotten that like so early on in my rando. Like so early on. Alright, we're go mode. Let's do it. Alright, here's a skip. Let's see if I can get it. So, you're supposed to fight this horrible dude right here. But if you're five head and smart... You can skip it. Easy clap. Come here, Zelda. Let's go! Where is she? I think she got stuck in a pillar. That is not how the camera should look like. Easy clap. And that's it. GG time. That's it. We beat the game. That's it. We saved Zelda. Time. Woo! Not Dark Beast, Ganon! Nom 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 nom. What? There we go. Easy clap. Alright. Here is something that I want to talk about. How many people remember how horrible Zelda's aim is when you're riding on the back of the horse right here? How many people have a memory of Zelda always missing her light arrow shots? Now, for everyone that said yes, uh, you just confessed to having bad aim. Because a lot of people seem to not know this, but... Her arrows are based upon your analog stick positioning. So as long as your analog stick is phasing Ganon, she will hit. So every shot that she misses was not based upon bad aim. It was based upon the fact that you weren't holding the right analog stick angle. You determine where it shoots based upon your analog stick angle for every shot. All right, so look, I'm holding the analog stick at Ganon. One hit. Two hits. And three hits. And time! 13 hours, 4 minutes, and 57 seconds. There it is, boys. GG. And there's a little bit of a special thing if you guys have not seen this cutscene before with iron boots on. You can put on iron boots as you beat Ganon. And since this is not a pre-recorded cutscene, but it takes place in-game, there's some, um funky business going on that takes a bit away it takes a little bit of it away from the cutscene but we'll still get a good time if you like clonks And with that being said, chat, that is the Twilight Princess Randomizer. I hope you enjoyed this YouTube video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more awesome content like this. Also, if you want to check out the entire VOD of this one, as you see this video, I'll be dropping part two of the full VOD for the stream, so you can check it out. The link is in the description, as well as, of course, the daily channel and my Twitch channel, if you want to be here live for these moments. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that. Later, everybody. Bye-bye. Link is seven.